What's up guys? Um, welcome back to another video. This isn't our normal run uh, or our race sort of workout vlog. Today we're taking a look at our favorite running trainer, at least at the moment that is, and that is the, the Zoom Fly 4 by Nike. Um, it's absolutely incredible. Although I've only had it for two-ish weeks now, um, I'm pretty confident in my opinions about it, considering I've run extensively in the Fly 3s and they share the same lower, but now it has a new upper. And I honestly, I love this shoe, it's great. Yeah, so these shoes, I think that these shoes come in at $160, which is about, it's a little bit more expensive than the Pegasus. The pegs are like $120, um, but if you can catch them, catch them on a deal, I think they're manageable. And honestly, I think this shoe is well worth it and we're gonna tell you why. Sound like The Fly 4 shares the same uh, midsole and lower as the Fly 3. It's a uh, React foam, the whole the whole thing, with uh, a carbon plate, a carbon fiber plate sandwich in between it. And it's actually the same plate that you see on the Vapor Flies with the same geometry. So that uh, is a little bit of a similarity between the two. So you can kind of see if that gives a tell of where this will fall into kind of like their line and what the purpose is. But React Foam is Nike's, it's a really responsive but also durable foam. They like to put it in a lot of their shoes. You see it in the, a little bit in the lower of the Tempo Next Percent. It's in the, the Infinity Reacts, it's in the Fly 3s, and now also in the Fly 4s. It's awesome, and uh, it really allows for a responsive but also uh, efficient and uh, comfortable feel. Um, the upper on the shoe is is updated since the Fly 3 and is actually what we think makes it so much better than the Fly 3. It's got a lightweight mesh that goes around most of it, but then flying it right where your foot slips in, so right where like the tongue would be, but there's actually no tongue because it's just a, it's a uniform, just one body kind of uh, upper. And you have this, uh, this heel tab in the back, which really allows for your heel to just lock in there and allows it to feel like a sock when you have it on. And on top of that, you've got these pull tabs on the back of the shoe and on the top where the tongue would be that allow you to slip it on really easily. And then also, one thing that's huge, at least for me, is lacing it up. The feel when you lace this is amazing. You just you pull up here, and then the whole thing just feels like it's lacing up just so smoothly and effortlessly. And that makes for a really enjoyable lacing and just running experience. All right, let's talk about the purpose of this shoe, all right? Um, it feels great, but what is it best at? Arguably, it's best on the roads or a very smooth path, you know, like a fire road. I mean, generally, when we're talking about running on trails, you don't need to have like a crazy, like those Gore-Tex soles that are on most Nike shoes. Um, this is fairly smooth on the bottom, so if you're on a really rough trail, I'd probably recommend the Pegasus because they have a, uh, a little bit of a rougher bottom, as you can see here. Um, but uh, yeah, this bottom, it's all right. It's very smooth, so I will say it feels great on the roads. And if you're on a simple surface like a fire road, which most trails here for us are, um, it feels absolutely incredible. Um, and let's talk about how the design that Lex just talked about translates to the feel, right? Because it's basically, mo it's mostly the same feel as far as the Fly 3 goes, because the r I wouldn't describe the shoe as soft and comforting for like recovering. I would mostly describe it as like, responsive right it's still comfortable but it is really responsive and that's what I like it for when I'm running in it I feel like anything I put into it I get out of it and um, it's the kind of shoe that feels like it propels you forward without that insane cushion that maybe a vapor flyer provides I think that's a lot due to the carbon fiber plate and maybe a slightly stiffer foam but I, per I personally think it feels incredible and then um, I think that the upper arguably does contribute to the feel of it, if not running, at least while you're just put lacing up and stuff like that. Um, I think it feels slightly more breathe breathable. Um, but the biggest thing is that they added the pull tabs on the back and the front, like the back of the shoe and on the tongue. This is, I mean, it's honestly revolutionary for how like, it changes the performance and feel of it so much because when I'm putting my shoe on, a lot of times I found with the Fly 3s is that I would often like pinch my finger 
um, upon putting them on, which was, it was not great. Um, and that was not pleasing. And this makes it so much easier. Like it's the kind of, it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna rip off. It feels fine. And the same things on the tongue, it makes it so I think I can get it really comfortable. And the tongue helps so you can pull that, or the tongue pull tab helps so you can pull the tongue uh, flush. And it's not all like kinked up on your foot and it feels really good when you lace it. I wanna briefly touch on how the shoe compares to the Pegasus because this is our other pretty much daily shoe that we use all the time. Um, the Pegasus, it's, it's a softer shoe, it's a thicker shoe, and it's a bit more of what I would consider a shoe for a recovery run, although the Pegasus does still feel good on like the training run. But if you would think, I would consider the Pegasus as a great shoe that could bridge you from that really, really slow, easy day into a training run, and this is the kind of shoe that could take you from that like a uh, easy normal day into like possibly a tempo you know so the two shoes they're both they both feel great this one's a bit softer this one's a bit more responsive and this one happens to have better grip on the bottom and this one feels better on the road because of this slick bottom so I mean if you're on a crazy trail I guess you're stuck with this guy if that's your only option but in general honestly I would take this shoe for if I only had to pick one shoe I'd pick this one so, like Leo was talking about, uh, when you're on a trail versus the road versus more like a fire road. When you're when you're on the road, definitely I would choose the Fly 4. I mean, it's with the grip, you're not gonna lose efficiency due to like, you know, how grippy these ones are where you just don't need it. Uh, it's great on that. Um, even moving on to the fire road, you know, a looser, uh, but still smooth, roughly, uh, you know, constant surface uh, it it works great it's you, you maybe have a little bit of slipping but like really in the scheme of things it's not gonna affect your run and then that's also where a peg would work great but I would still choose the fly for and then moving on to the actual trails like if you're on like a single track or maybe something with a really like uneven terrain and surface where there's a lot of modulation and like rocks or dirt or like you know I don't know what the trails gonna throw at you but that's when I would probably go for a peg just because you have a little bit more uh, leeway for you know those unforgiving uh, foot footings uh, you've got more grip so you can grip on things like the rocks and the roots better but I mean if you had to you could still run on the fly fours I'll, I'd still run on them on a trail but maybe not preferably over the the Pegasus but it would still work but ideally, this would work best on either road or a hard pack fire road or you know a path with a you know a consistent smooth surface. Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope uh, it gave you some insight on to whether or not you'd want to run in the Fly Fours. We personally endorse them and really like them. I think they're better. Also, one thing I didn't mention about them is that they don't have an air pocket like the Pegasus, so there's no fear that they're gonna pop. I've popped so many Pegasus shoes that's just that's just the worst part about the pegs, and the Fly Fours are free of that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's obviously not the normal style of video that we make. Uh, let us know in the comments if you enjoy this because we can review a lot of different shoes that we have. We have a lot of different spikes and trainers and workout shoes that that might be, you guys might find that uh, beneficial or informative and we can do that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Make sure to like, subscribe because uh, in the coming weeks there's going to be a lot of content with the state meet and nationals coming up.